All right, guys, it is just before 8 o'clock here on Saturday night, October 7th, I believe it is. We had some rain today, and I'm not too awful sure if we're going to be able to chop any corn tomorrow. So this is going to be somewhat of a, not really a two-part video, but we're going to start it here tonight, and then I don't know when we're going to get back to you with the rest of what we have to show you in this box. I imagine you guys can figure it out from now, uh, figure it out right now that we have another electric bike to uh, try out here. Uh, this company reached out to me just after we kicked that video out from when we went over to uh, Letchworth State Park. They said, hey, we've got just the thing for you to try out of our own. I said, well, all right, we'll go ahead and try it out. So we'll get this opened up. This is a Kai Rusher. I'm not really sure how they pronounce it, but we'll get it out of the box. We'll show you how it's packaged. We'll put it together quick. I'm gonna put the battery on the uh, charger. If we have a chance to run it around tomorrow, we'll do so. If it's still a little muddy and still a little tacky, uh, it'll be several days from now but let's go ahead and get it out of the box um, this one's more or less our color scheme uh, the other ones were all dark colored but this you'll see this one's kind of fits our color scheme here a little bit so let's get it opened up get it out of the box get it together and we'll move right along here I had one of the guys from the biking community said I ramble on too much when I do these videos, so we need to work quickly here. Well, these bikes are definitely packaged up real good, and they are relatively simple to put together. Uh, they generally come with the tools that are necessary to install the handlebars, and you can hold on to them tools to use them to adjust the handlebars and take your wheel on and off and whatever else like that. We used just regular hand tools that I have in my toolbox, but it's rather simple to put together. You'll see I made a little blooper. We had to consult the owner's manual to figure out exactly how the handlebars uh, were supposed to be fitted, but we got that sorted, of course. Uh, we'll just have to now see how this thing goes here. We got this all put together. We'll leave this on the charger here overnight. And then we'll see how the ground conditions are tomorrow. You'll happen to notice during the time lapse when I originally put the handlebars on, this pedestal was backwards. I looked at it and I was like, what the heck? What is going on? I put it on anyways. I said, well, then after I put it on there, I didn't know if there was a riser for the handlebars. Got the box all opened up and there wasn't. And then that is when I consulted the owner's manual. They must ship this with this pedestal purposely put backwards. You can't adjust it to turn 180 degrees. They furnished mirrors with this as well. We've got them on there. I don't know if I've got them properly adjusted or not but we'll give them a try when we get out on this thing they gave a fair amount of tools along with this bike allen wrenches screwdriver your uh, various end wrenches and they also threw in a spare set of brake pads along with some miscellaneous hardware um i think they sent an extra bolt and uh 
spacer for the front end and then there's another extra screw in there as well they also furnished a foot pump foot air compressor pump a foot air pump that is and then of course we have the keys here for being able to uh, remove the battery if you so choose to you can take the battery off which clips in up underneath here you can take the battery off and you can charge that uh, in your garage or what have you uh, this charger is specific for this particular bike the other bikes that we have the chargers are just about universal so we'll go ahead and uh, join up with you guys tomorrow or the following day with the rest of this video Well, it has been just about a week since we put this guy here together. We're going to run around on it a little bit here. Yeah? Give you kind of an idea of how this thing goes. And I'm going to give you my opinion on it. Uh, Jared's mixing up the last load of feed. For those of you that are just joining in with us here, uh, we have a, a dairy farm. That's a feed mixer there. This is a forage harvester. And um, I'll just kind of explain that here for just a second. We're gonna jump on the bike here. We're gonna run down the road. We're going to be chopping corn today. Again, we've got our feed in these bunks. And again, this is just for those of you that are just tuning in for the first time because of this bike here. We've got feed in these uh, bunkers corn silage in there that we just covered up here the other day the ramp came out too far we dug that back got everything all covered nicely we're going to take a ride down below we're going to show you where we're going to be chopping corn today and we're going to give you an idea how this here performs now i got it put together here the other night put the charger on it and I could not, to be honest with you, I could not figure out how to turn the damn thing on. So on these Cy Rusher bikes, there's a little button right down underneath here that turns the actual display on. So this display is slightly different than the display on the other bikes. Uh, I did move my mirrors to the bottom. I'm not sure which position I'm gonna like those in. I have only had a chance to run this bike up and down the driveway a couple times, and that is about it. So we've got 100% battery. Let's go ahead and jump on her. And we'll do a little run around the farm here quickly. So Jared's got the last little bit of feed going on this mixer, and he'll feed the last load off. We've got the chopper set. Just got to run the knives through a sharpening cycle and then we can uh, get rolling out here today. All right, so we might as well take this for a little jaunt. We're just going to kind of show you guys where we're going to be chopping today. Jared's got that last little bit to go on. Now we've got BMR and these three bunks down here, and then this smaller bunk is what we will end up um, having for feed out or carry over for uh, next year we just got quite a bit more that we can put in uh, this other bunk as well and then we've got BMR silage on 
the fields down on the other side of the road and then just down the road here Nate said that he has a wheel that has moved out on this articulated tractor so that has to be addressed first thing that wheel has moved out so we've got to pull the dual and we have to pull the uh, hub off loosen up the inner hub and uh, get that off of there so this one field that's just down the road uh, we ended up testing it yesterday and the moisture is just about right we were in it last week as well so as you'll know this bike seems to have a fair amount of power we were able to climb right up on top of that bunk that takes quite a bit of power this has a 750 watt bufang motor and uh that moves right along we're doing 30 mile an hour right now This field here was planted on the 28th of May and we went into this field oh we went into here I think it was about a week ago the moisture was off on it we just circled around and pulled out and then yesterday we went down in to our right and went around it and then the moisture is right where we want it so we're going to move down into these fields here today with this bike having full suspension it takes these bumps real well again I don't have these mirrors adjusted where I need them that's not working too awful well So we'll take a ride back up to the farm, see how it does climb in this hill. Sprinkling a little bit here this morning. We're gonna chop that field there too. Twenty six miles an hour. We'll go ahead and take a ride up through the gravel driveway just to get a little bit more experience with the suspension this has a twist grip as well but what this is doing is sensing the torque that I'm applying to the pedals. So we'll go ahead and take a ride out to where the trucks are at. Andrew's going to drive truck today because we're right around the farm. We'll give them a little look, see, see what kind of absorbs those bumps very nicely. 
Okay, Andrew's gonna run that truck there, I guess, today. We just wanna make a glance over on these trucks, make sure all the tires are up. Yeah. I just wanna park this bike here for a second. This is where this bike kind of hits our color scheme a little bit. Black and red. These other trucks that are white. Um, I'm probably going to get a paint job here at some point. And then, of course, we've got the uh, Blue Western Star. <laughs> All right, so we might as well head down to the shop and see how these guys are doing. I guess we can go down through this barn here. We uh, came through this barn first thing this morning. I didn't know if maybe these gates were across. So Jared's got to put a little more feed down to our right here. And then down to the end. Sometimes we can't drive through this barn completely because these gates are across. That's so the cows can get over to the parlor. So these guys got a load at 3.30 this morning. It's about 7.30 now. And they need to be fed again. Whoa. This guy's a little slickery. All right, so we're going to touch base with Jared. Yeah. And we're going to dump that load. I guess we're going to dump that load of feet. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I don't know where he went. Oh, carrying rotten feed down. All righty. So, yeah. So that ought to give you somewhat of an idea of how the uh rusher performs left the little plastic guys on here we'll leave them on until they fall off they were put on there during shipping and just like all of the other electric bikes that we have tried out they are made very well now this has a headlight on it that is powered by the battery. However, the tail light on the rear is not uh, hooked in with the uh, brakes like some of the other bikes um, are set up. It does have a rigid fender there. You can buy a bike rack for it or a little luggage panel for it and fenders and whatever, but I think we're gonna keep it just the way it is. Well, all right, if you guys are interested, we're gonna drop a link in the description to take full advantage of the discounts and whatever that you can receive if you so choose to wanna purchase one of these. These come in, I think, three colors, white and red, green and yellow, and then this black and red here. So, yeah, well, all righty. That'll do our folks. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you at the next one.